Some local high school football games will be impacted by rain tonight. There is still a chance we might see a couple of lightning delays. Not a lot of lightning showing up right now, but uh, we have watched quite a bit of shower activity move through southeast Missouri and western Kentucky. We start with a live camera view out over uh, Poplar Bluff. This is every other time we look at it, it's either pouring rain or the rain has just stopped. Uh, you can see right at the bottom of the screen, parking lot still with a little bit of standing water on it as a little shower has moved through that region. Here's what it looks like uh, on the local view of Doppler radar right now. The activity in western Kentucky pushing a little bit of an outflow now, moving through parts of Ballard County, moving into Pulaski County as well. Many times that little thin line, that's those winds that come shooting out of a thunderstorm. Uh, you've been close to a storm and get that cool breeze. That's what we're talking about that will work sometimes like a little bitty cold front and kick off more activity. So we'll keep eyes on that. The stuff drifting to the north. One little shower moving through Gallatin County, a little one just south of Harrisburg. They're moving through Saline County. Those will likely dissipate, but as they dissipate, a couple more might pop up. But the real focus of rain this evening is going to be in southeast Missouri, and currently it's kind of focused in Butler County, getting ready to move into Wayne County. Not seeing lightning at this point, but we have throughout the afternoon, so uh, a lightning bolt or two could occur. I think the chance of that pretty small, but uh, in southeast Missouri, it looks like many ball games may uh, may come with a rain shower. So if you're headed out the door, uh, you might want to grab something to help keep you dry. A little rain slicker will help out a lot there. Tomorrow, a really good chance you are going to see rain, especially morning to midday. Expecting a little bit of a break in the afternoon and evening. Not completely drying out, but a lot more space between the showers. We could see some locally heavy rain. Parts of the region could see up to a couple more inches. Parts of Wayne County, Missouri already reporting more than three inches from what's moved through today. So a little bit of street flooding concern coming up there. Threat tracker bar to the moderate level. Sunday, a chance for showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms, but less activity on Sunday than what we're expecting tomorrow. And then next week, I think we'll see a lot of clouds and slightly cooler conditions coming in. It's a little cooler today, showing temperatures in the upper 70s locally, but it's muggy everywhere in the region. Rain or not, humidity levels are up. That should drop a little bit next week, but the muggy is going to stay with us through the weekend. Satellite imagery showing a strong flow from the south. A lot of clouds now spreading across Arkansas. Those will continue to spread in here. The lead edge of it is the scattered shower and storm activity that's moving into southeast Missouri right now. But what's showing up over around Arklatex, I think that's the rain that will move in here for tomorrow morning. And that's what the forecast maps show. Early tomorrow morning, around sunrise or so, good chance that certainly southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, it's just wet all across the region. Move through the middle part of the day in the afternoon, we'll see sort of a shift into western Kentucky. Back to the west, the next round setting up that looks like it will roll in late tomorrow night into Sunday morning. The chance of rain on Sunday is much more focused in the early part of the day, looking like we could see a break by the afternoon. Overall, I think it's a pretty darn good chance it's going to rain on you at one point or another, both tomorrow and Sunday. Temperatures really not changing a whole lot. Looks like highs in the upper 70s to around 80. On Monday, a cold front arrives. It could squeeze out a few sprinkles, but I don't think it's a big rainmaker. Tuesday just looks mostly cloudy. Another little boundary coming in Wednesday and Thursday brings small chances for showers. And it looks like temperatures then after that starting to warm back up. I don't think we're done with 80 degrees. I think we're done with 90, but I don't think we're done with 80 yet. It'll be back to a fall-like feel for at least a while. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of a muggy fall, but you're right. All right. Thank you, Jim.